Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. In this Tips and Tricks episode, I'm going to go over how to rig a drone spoon and troll it on a planer. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, folks, so I want to start out by saying the drone spoon is an ultra effective tool for trolling, especially trolling for toothy critters like kingfish, barracuda, wahoo. Now, it is also great for trolling for bonita. Since this is an effective tool for trolling for toothy critters, you need wire leader when you are going to rig it. Now, there is a misconception that a drone spoon has to be trolled on a planer in order to work properly. That is incorrect. A drone spoon can most definitely be trolled up on top. What you need if you're going to troll drone spoon up on top is it needs to be trolled with monofilament. That way it has shock absorbency, the mono stretches and is able to drag the lure through the water and the lure can react properly instead of popping out of the water all the time. If you're trolling with braid, and you're using a drone spoon, make sure you have at least a 50 to 75 foot shock cord on it so that it can stretch and let the drone spoon do its thing. Ultimately though, one of the best and most popular ways to troll the drone spoon is on a planer. Ultra effective, catches kingfish left and right down here in Southeast Florida. All right, so let's get into this rigging. Okay, in order to do this properly, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need drone spoon. This is a three and a half inch silver reflective drone spoon from Tsunami. You're gonna need a barrel swivel. Spoons spin when they're being trolled, so you need a swivel to take away that spinning action. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a lot of line twist in your leader. About 18 inches of wire leader. This particular wire leader is number four, 40 pound test wire leader from the company Malin. You can use whichever leader you would like. I go with the lighter wire because it's a little more stealthy. Haywire twist tool if you like to use one, which I do. And you're gonna need a pair of split ring pliers. Split ring pliers have a little tooth on one of the end prongs. This will open up the split ring on the end of your drone spoon so that you can hook it on to the swivel. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach our swivel to our wire leader. So we are going to take one end of the swivel, pass it the wire leader through the eye of the swivel. Now we are going to take what will be the tag end of the wire leader and we will feed it through the fixed end of the haywire twist tool. We are going to leave about an inch or so hanging out the back side of the haywire twist tool fold it over, form a loop, and we're going to pinch at the end, and then we're going to twist. Give it about 10 twists or so. Make sure you got a good knot in your wire leader, and then you release the haywire twist tool and you put a 90 degree bend in your tag. This is where we're at so far. We have put the swivel on our end loop. Nice good twists in our wire from the haywire twist. Now we are going to do barrel wraps. You want to do about six, seven, maybe eight barrel wraps. Once you've done enough barrel wraps, You can break off your tag simply by bending it back and forth. Oh, and there it goes. All right, so now we have our swivel attached to one end of our wire leader. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make an open loop on the mainline end of 
the wire leader. Same process. Pass the wire leader through the fixed end of the haywire twist tool. Form a loop at the end of it. Pinch it closed. Twist your wire till you've got a nice knot made. Release the haywire twist tool. Put a 90 degree bend in your wire. And then again, barrel wraps. Once you've got enough barrel wraps, break off the end of your wire leader by bending it back and forth until it snaps so it gives you a clean break. There you go. Now our wire leader is made. We have a swivel on one side and a loop on the other side. Now what we are going to do is we are going to take the split ring pliers. We are going to open up the split ring on the end of the lure. We are going to attach it to the open eye, the free eye of the swivel. You get your split ring to bite and then it's just like feeding a key onto a key ring. Once it snaps, you're on, you're good to go. Your lure is now complete. Spoons like to spin when they're trolled, which is why you need this swivel. Otherwise you will end up with a lot of line twist, especially if you're trolling a planer, you don't want to get rid of that leader. You want it to be reusable. All right, so now that we have our lure rigged up on our wire leader, I'm going to show you the process of setting it up to take it out and troll it on a planer. So what we will need is our main line. I have 80 pound braid hooked up to a 300 pound swivel. The next thing I have is a number six planer. Then I have 100 feet of 60 pound monofilament leader on a yo-yo. On one end is a 300 pound swivel. On the other end is a size number seven swivel. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to take the swivel that is attached to our main line and we are going to hook it up to our ring that is on our planer. So what happens is the planer dives down like this with the swivel on it. Your line will be going back out this way. And once it trips, it pulls up like that. So always hook your main line onto the ring of the swivel so that it trolls properly. The next thing we will do is we will take the 300 pound swivel that is on our leader. We will hook it onto the solid ring that is on the plate of the planer. Put that on. And the final step is to take our size number seven swivel and we'll hook it on to the loop end of our wire leader. We're all set up. Main line to the ring of the planer, leader to the solid ring on the plate, lure on the end of our leader. That's the basic setup. So again, like I said, as we were assembling the lure, this is my main line. It will be trolling my lure. My rod is back this way. You have your line hooked on to your ring of your planer. The weight makes it dive down. My lure is back out here. We're trolling along, pulling our lure this way. As soon as the fish hits, it straightens out the planer like that and it makes it rise to the surface. Upon getting a strike with the planer, as your rod goes from a parabolic bend because of all the pressure being put on it from the diving planer to a more upright look. That's how you will know that there's a fish on. And also you'll get some line peeling out too if it's a big enough fish strong enough to pull against a tightened drag that is made to withstand the pressure of a planer. Drone spoon epic tool of the trade. What you're going to do is you're going to get your boat up to speed. You're going to pitch in your drone spoon. You're going to let out your leader. Then you're going to dunk the planer in the water. You're going to let out about 100, 150 feet. 
You don't need to let out a lot of line because remember, you have a 100 foot shock cord leader already let out. Then you're gonna troll the drone spoon in between six and eight knots. You're gonna troll over structure. You're gonna look for ledges and troll over them, the deep ledge of the reef. And be sure you watch that fish finder for if you troll over a big pot of bait, get ready for that hit. Then be mindful of when your rod releases that parabolic pressure being put on it from the diving planer, and then you reel in your fish. And with any luck, you'll be bringing home some food to the family. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. I hope you had fun. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.